So I want to tell you about the time that I saved my younger sister's life. Now out of respect for her, I decided not to use her face, just for privacy reasons and stuff like that. Actually whatever, I'll just use her face, she won't care. So anyways, I'm gonna say that she was probably three or so, which would make me nine. Which I thought I was younger than that at the time, but she couldn't have been younger than three, so I guess I had to be nine or so. We're both basically 30 now, so anyways. We're with our family at this campground public pool kind of place, but the pool wasn't a regular pool that's like underground where you have to climb in with a ladder or use a set of steps. It was this weird setup where it started really shallow and then got deeper as you went in. So it was kind of like a beach, but made it a concrete, I would describe it as. So anyways, we're playing at the pool and my sister's in the water being watched by no one, which is kind of weird now that I think about it. She's in the water and I don't like to swim, so I'm standing out of the water, probably eating snacks most likely. That's what I normally would be doing. So I finish my snack and I look out and I notice that she's no longer there, which I thought was kind of weird. So I look out further and I see this. I remember thinking, well, that is an ugly child. But then it hit me that that is actually my sister and she is flipped over in her floaty tube thing and she doesn't have the strength to flip herself back over. And I thought, well, I guess this is her time. Who am I to interfere with what God has planned for her? So then as I'm walking into the distance, something comes over me. I get this feeling and I think to myself, you know what, Beth? Not yet. So I get out to the water and uh, I, I grab the side of the tube thing and I flip her over. And uh, yeah, she survived, so uh, that's good. Although I gotta say, over the last 20 years or so, there's been a couple of times where I just thought to myself, you had to flip her. You had to flip her. But uh, overall, I'm glad she survived. She'll bring me coffee sometimes and stuff like that, so I don't know, whatever. But uh, anyways, I'm hoping that she will see this video and comment maybe publicly um, sort of an official thank you for saving her life that day. And uh, if she does, I will pin it in the in the comments section so everyone can see it and then I'll get the praise that I always kind of felt that I deserved. Because I mean, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't even be here right now. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.